Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? Quite a hard dive, <laughs> but it looks deep enough. Okay. Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. We can swing over now.
Oh, whole place is flooded. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. First work. <clears throat> what on earth is this place? Throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. How's these stairs going up? Not there mostly. We'll have to find another way up. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Hmm. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. I'll give this a spin. <laughs> the hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. <sighs> Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a key cobra for a necklace. <sighs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. <sighs> just need to figure out what it is. Coming? I'm going to search the other side. Okay. Ah. There's another crank up ahead. Okay, I better get a move on. Going back now. <clears throat> oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, good suggestion. <clears throat> ah, that was a close one. Nearly destroyed my pants. <sighs> wow! I can see my house from here. <clears throat> I did. I'll be right down. Ah, ah, slippery. Nicely done. Thank you. Aha! 
Here we go. Okay, I've got this one. <clears throat> Bringing down Shiva's drum. <clears throat> Like the trident. Time to move. <laughs> Come on, jump to the drum. Thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. <laughs> Turn the water on for this side. And here we go. Now we've got water running down both sides. Look. Oh. Shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Yeah. right yeah now we tend to the other two you were right of course I was about what what you said back in that place with all the statues and axes things always come in threes three points of a trident the light split into three beams <laughs> Light's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Look up. The statue's not in the right place. <gasps> ah, right. Dean, be a dear. We're ahead of you. Got it.
Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Careful. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Shit! quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Huh.
Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than you once. You do remember that. Uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear of it, I say. know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! oh Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram a mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. He's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet!
He's yielding. The X. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh. Quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. <laughs> See, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes! Smoking. <coughs> Doc! Think they saw us? Let's hope 
hope not. How the hell did Asaf get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Still heard Asaf talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's not much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh... <clears throat> back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I no figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. I saw we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just you saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in front of me. 